Hey, what's up, Toaster Shules? This is Brett Bates being the video here, and today it's time for Yo-Yo Tricks of the Trade here today. In this video, we're going to be talking about the classic advanced Yo-Yo trick called Buddha's Revenge. We recently did a tutorial on this Yo-Yo trick, actually. So today it's time for Yo-Yo Tricks of the Trade. We're going to be talking about the Buddha's Revenge classic advanced Yo-Yo trick. A lot of people really like this trick. It's a lot of fun. So let's talk about it here today. Intro. <laughs> Let us go. Alright, Toaster Shudel, so we've just slowed down the video, so now we can start talking about Buddha's Revenge, the classic advanced yo-yo trick. So you start it off in the 1.5 mount, and you put the yo-yo over both your pointer fingers. And then from here, yo-yo comes around with your non throw hand pointer into this position, and then you're going to put it into that top string as it comes around your throw hand pointer for the last move, just like this. We had the tutorial for this classic advanced yo-yo trick last year, actually, pretty recently, in December. So if you guys want to try and learn this trick, you can check out my tutorial. Really awesome classic advanced yo-yo trick. Flows really nice. Looks good in a freestyle. A good trick to start practicing if you're a beginner. If you're new to the 1.5 mount, it's also probably one of the first tricks you'll learn. The Buddha's Revenge. I think in general, a lot of people really enjoy this yo-yo trick. It's a lot of fun. And then once you get down nice and smooth, you can just do it nice and fluently. As you can see right here. A lot of fun. Pretty simple, honestly, for the most part. Pretty simple trick. Those three moves, nice and strong. And then here I'm going to show you guys. So when you perform this trick, just like I said in the Matrix, you don't want to kind of, you know, be lazy on the moves. Really try and get them down nice and solid. As you can see here, you don't want to be like kind of dropping the yo-yo around everywhere. It might look like that when you first start, which is totally okay. But as you can see, with more practice, the moves become more fluent. And they just look nicer. <laughs> now I'm going to be showing you guys another little cool technique that you can do when you perform this trick to make it look a little bit more fluent, I think. So as I perform that first move, I put the yo-yo over my two pointer fingers right here. I put my non-throw hand to my left a little bit. So I put my non-throw hand pointer in the opposite direction the strings are coming. That helps settle it down a little bit so it doesn't bounce around so much. And it helps um, stop the yo-yo. So you can actually do the other two moves and it just prevents it from bouncing around kind of. Something really interesting that I found really helps. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the classic advanced yo-yo trick called Buddha's Revenge. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Try it out. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching Yo-Yo Tricks of the Trade here today on the classic advanced yo-yo trick called Buddha's Revenge. If you guys enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed this yo-yo trick, don't forget to drop a like on this video here today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see some more videos coming up pretty soon here once again. Toaster Shrews, thank you so much for watching this video here today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Yo-Yo Tricks of the Trade on the Yo-Yo Trick called Buddha's Revenge. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in another video pretty soon again next time that you'll enjoy too. Yes. <laughs>